Good morning. Getting ready to go to the doctor's appointment. Today is I work Monday through Wednesday. So this video is actually more of a rant of this company I work for. I had such a good time with this razor. I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to be using the Cramperts Bay Rum. So, um, so I got. I ordered this big old big jar of the uh, Johnny B, and I just put it in a little container. And then they sent me a second jar. And I got a hold of them. They said, just keep it. It was a mistake. So I have two of these. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've been in this one. Anyway, so uh, I think probably the video I get more, most action on is the one uh, I did on Johnny B. And one person set up there to wet my hair. I apply it. and that's what I usually do uh, but I forget sometimes too so the wetness will uh, give you a little more time to style it uh, if you need it and it changes the look to be more wet because it'll retain a little bit of moisture in it or something uh, but uh, not too much don't want too much in my hair just enough, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to be quitting this company. I think Monday, Monday I'm putting in a two weeks notice. Uh, it's just not my thing, man, you know? I want to show you this picture, and it's, it's the back of a truck. Each one of those pails is a five gallon bucket. Of something called dry fall. Something uh, painters use on the ceilings. When it spires down, it doesn't turn, it dries. It's, it's dry by the time it hits, hits your tarp. And it's very heavy. I don't know how much heavier it is than regular paint, because no one will tell me. But I'll tell you what, that was, I think that the one in the picture is 18 single five gallon buckets. And I did another truckload to the same company the next day. And I'll tell you, I got to move those things three times. It's heavy, man. My back hurts. My feet hurt from all the weight. It's just too much. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to ruin my body for that wage. So this is the cramper. Huh? Ah, it smells nice and spicy. That's a spicy meatball. So, quit climbing around. Went to a mandatory meeting, and I don't know why they do, you know, I just, I look at things and I say, what are you doing it stupid for? What I mean by stupid is they had the meeting at a paint store that was clear on the outside of town. I had to drive 45 minutes to get there on my day off. I got paid, but still. And uh, it's just stupid, man. And I, I get there. And I'm just doing stuff, you know, like this paint job. I'm doing it because I want to, uh, I'm not making any money. I want to uh, get in shape. And after working there for, what, two months? That's what it earned me. Uh, I lost 10 pounds. And I got some definition in my arms and everything. Uh, so that's that's what I was looking for. But I'm, I'm done with it. You know, I'm done with the stupid games. Uh, just it's just not for me. Plus, they're all young young guys. So the music they listen to makes me want to slap them in the face because so I can't listen to that kind of music. So one guy's listening to rap and it's just really raunchy. And I says, you know, that music is so. Uh, so nasty I should wash your mouth that was soap just for listening to it so uh, went to this meeting and everyone's supposed to 
stand up and say who they are and what's that most interesting thing about them and all this crap, right? So everyone's saying all this stuff. I get up there and I'm telling them all this stuff, right? And, uh... Uh, these two little skinny blonde girls were sitting in front of me. I mean, they must have been probably 80, 90 pounds. I mean, they look seriously like they, they, like they have anorexia or something. But they're the best friends, right? And they thought they were just the cutest thing ever, man. And uh, anytime one of them said something, the other would look at him like give him a mental high five, you know what I mean? And uh, it, was, it was a trip. So he went on and they were to show this pie chart and they said that Home Depot actually sells more paint than Sherwin Williams. And you're talking about by a lot, right? And I go, I go, uh, that's because, uh, Home Depot sells inexpensive paint that's real cheap. And this girl in front of me goes, looks, kind of looks back like that. She goes, Sherman Wayne paint is the best of the best. And she's like this little kiss-ass girl. But all these guys that were up there, these, uh, I don't know, manager, man, managers and shit. There's like four of them. They are looking at these girls like, ah, like this, right? And, you know, on the break, they're, they all come over talking to them and shit. And, uh, I don't care. I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But, uh, this is my observation, is that this Sherwin Williams is so hard up. For employees and they would hire these two little wet farts can you imagine a painting contractor taking advice from a little pipsqueak just out of high school So the uh, district manager who I who I met before at the store, he uh, he was kind of standing like 15 feet away from me, and we we're all kind of talking. And I said something about Marty Feldman, right? And when I got closer to him, he's got a lazy eye, and I didn't notice that. I was like, whoa. So, uh, he's saying, He's saying, he's saying that um, there's a lot of good opportunities working with Sharon Williams. Uh, so I asked him about that, and I wish I would have asked him, and everyone else was paying attention. So I just went up to him. Because, you know, I'm already deciding to quit. 
You know, I mean, if I'm going to work that hard, I'm going to get paid for it. Uh, but right now, I'm just in a situation where I can only make so much money. So anyway, I go up to him and I go, Hey, what kind of great opportunities are there with this company? And he just looked at me. Because, see, in my... When I introduced myself, I told him I've had businesses. I did this, I did that, did a little bit of this, a little bit more of that. All this, right? So he just kind of looked at me and didn't say anything. You know, all right, so... Um, let me ask you this then. How much does an assistant manager make? $45,000, he said. And I think that's I think that's pretty high. But when you consider how much how much the rest of the staff is making, it's not really it, it's a it's a it's a it's a swap out is what it is. Because the reality is that either you're, you're driving a semi truck or you're driving a little uh, 12 foot box truck like me, or uh, you're mixing paint. And, uh, that's it. There's no other opportunity. You know, because I asked him, did you need a college degree to get a management job there? He goes, not necessarily. But I told him, I came, came right out and told him. I said, you know what? I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a manager in one of your stores or anything in the world. He goes, really? Why? I goes, because I see my, my manager, that guy works his ass off. He's getting pulled five different directions all the time. It is it would drive me nuts. I couldn't do it. So, because of that, but yeah, but there's compensation. So what? You know, you're talking about money. You know? I mean, it's like, it's like, I, I, I told him too. I said, you know what? I go, my first week I was there, I said, I seen him working all, every day of that week. And I just thought that was just too much. You know? I mean, there's jobs out there. In fact, I ran into a job, or a guy that I knew from PetSmart. He's a manager. I just happened to recognize him somewhere. And I started talking to him. And uh, he said that, uh, oh, yeah, they're always, they're, they're, hiring, they're hiring a manager up there in Fort Collins. I start, talk, started talking to my manager about it. You know, I go, man, this is the job you want. So said, here, you're just working your ass off. You know, go up there and be a manager, man. You know, and, you know, it's just more relaxing. He told me he hated change, so. So, whatever. Anyway, that's my rant, so. Um, I've had kind of a crazy, last week was kind of crazy. Not last week, this week. But, uh, got into a little argument with the, with the superintendent at a job site. I was parked outside the damn gate. They tore off the pad that usually drive over to get this paint to these people. And this is the paint, this is the heavy stuff I was talking about. He goes, you can't just park here. I go, I'm parked outside of the fence, man. I'm looking for a place. I said, where do you want me to put this paint at? He goes, it's got to go that direction right there. It's got to go through that door right there. He started giving me all this shit. I go, fine, and you come up with a forklift. And you bring it over to my van, and we'll put it up on the sixth floor. Like this to him. All right. Rah, rah, rah. So, <laughs> he's, you know, it's like, hey, I speak your language, blah, blah. So, anyway, that's my rant, man. So, throw a little bit of this. Throw on a little bit of this. That 
these la, la resistance. I like this stuff now. Okay. Yes, I put on way too much. Alright man, this is Guy Souls. Thanks for letting me bend your ear, huh? Later.